I'm Michael and I'm from the Locks Agency and I'm going to talk about the life cycle of salmon. The salmon start their life cycle, uh, the female salmon will go up and she'll, she'll dig a big hole which is called a red. She'll uh, excavate a large area of gravel uh, and then she'll lay about up to about 8,000 eggs depending on the size of the salmon itself. Then she'll bury those eggs. Uh, most of the time they'll leave the nest but sometimes they'll stay alongside it, uh, guard it from other females because other females will come up and dig it up. Uh, and then uh, after about a week or so they'll swim away and usually die uh, after all their travels and all the different kinds of the things that they've gone through. develop in the nest over uh, a couple of weeks. Then they'll hatch out into what's called alvin. Uh, these are little tiny salmon, uh, much smaller than your, probably the size of your tip of your little finger. Uh, they'll have a little bit of a yolk sac, still a part of the egg attached to them. Uh, and they'll stay in the nest underneath the gravel, they'll not leave until that yolk sac is gone. So it usually takes another couple of weeks. Uh, once that's happened, once the yolk sac has been absorbed, uh, they will leave the nest, go out into the river, the wee stream, and they'll find territory for themselves. Uh, so they'll find a space and they'll feed. And they'll feed then for maybe a year, two years, and develop into the next stage, which is, is par. Uh, par would be about maybe half a size of your hand, or even as long as your hand. Uh, and they will, once again, carry out feeding. They'll move down into the bigger rivers, they'll find a nice habitat where there's lots of boulders and uh, large cobbles and things like that. They'll hide underneath the cobbles and the boulders and they'll use the, the <coughs> cover to kind of ambush prey and things like that. Uh, after about three, four, maybe even five years, depending on the river, they'll develop into what's called smolt. Smolt are like little miniature adult salmon. They turn a silvery colour. They travel downstream, so they go all the way downstream from where they're living. They head towards a saltwater estuary, so you're going to the mouth of the Fahan today. They'll go to the mouth of the Fahan where they'll meet salt water. Their bodies will adjust and change, so their livers and their kidneys will become much stronger. Uh, because they're going from fresh water into salt water, uh, so all the extra salt going into their bodies can actually have a, a detrimental effect. Then they'll head out into the sea, out in the North Atlantic Ocean, they'll travel to places like Iceland, or off the coast of Iceland, or off the coast of Greenland, uh, thousands of miles away. They'll feed for about a year or two years out in the North Atlantic Ocean, they'll go from being about that size there to about that size, and then they'll get this urge to come back, so they'll actually travel back across the North Atlantic Ocean, heading, zigzagging their way across the North Atlantic Ocean, back towards Ireland, back towards the, the foil estuary uh, and then they'll travel up into the uh, river Fahan again they'll find their way using the sense of smell so they smell the rivers that they were born in uh, they'll travel up into the wee streams that, uh, and they'll lay their eggs once again they'll actually find uh, uh, a spot close to where they were actually born themselves and lay their eggs over that, that time it takes about nine months for them to actually make that journey from the North Atlantic to their original stream that they were born in and over that whole time they don't eat anything uh, so they're absolutely starving. Their bodies change physically. The males will go a dark red colour, a dark colour. They'll hook, their lower jaws will hook up uh, and become uh, weapons against other males. The females will turn a yellowy kind of purple colour uh, and they'll uh, change phys physically as well. Uh, and then once they get up on the wee mountain streams, uh, the females will find a nice space. Uh, they'll pick that space, as the space where they're going to lay their eggs and they'll wait for a suitable male to come up. So once the males have fought off each other and once the biggest male and strongest male has made his presence felt, she'll choose him and then they'll, they'll spawn, she'll dig the, the nest, they'll spawn, she'll lay her eggs and then she'll bury them and then the life cycle starts over again. So it's, a, it's been happening now for, we believe, in Ireland for about maybe 12,000, 13,000 years. But it's been something that's happened now for the last 100 million years uh, since we, well, we think the salmon were first came into being about 100 million years in the Pleistocene area. So they're one of the oldest type of fish you'll find. And it's happening in here and it's been happening here for a long, long time. So hopefully it will continue happening well until whenever you're very old.